Thank you very much for your introduction. Pleasure to be here. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm looking forward to interacting with this younger generation. Because for me, every time you meet somebody your age, I feel 10 years younger. But first of all, before I say anything else, I'd like to know why everybody is looking so serious here. Some of you are, seem to be under stress. You heard such great things about this institution. This is my first visit here, so I should have been more nervous than you guys are. A lot of you haven't even taken off your bags from your back when you so relax. When I was your age, you know, I, I get the impression that a lot of you are under stress. I want to tell you that when I was your age, the word stress had not even been invented. So, you are now getting into a beautiful stage of time. As I gather from uh, what Mr. Anjit Chadda said and what Ajay said, that the institution is not only going to focus on making you computer professional. That institution Simon doesn't do. And what they are going to work on, what I see of the program, they are going to make you good human. Because if you want to succeed in life, there is nothing better than you can do. The faster you learn that thing, and I learned it very early in life, that if you want to succeed, then learn the part of where you have grown, this institution can offer you today. So first of all, before we go any further, let's have a big smile, man. Because unless you learn to smile, you will never face the challenge. When I went to school, I remember somebody would come in the morning, open my head, pour in some chemistry. Another teacher would come and pour in some physics. Somebody would come and pour in history. At the end of it, I was very confused, right? Nobody talked to me about what is life on <coughs> Today, we hear things like how you face your challenges. You know, you people have gone, you're all graduate, uh, you have a legacy of families which have supported you, your early institutions. The board of now are hand holding from ITS. But they also go to the Real life, let me tell you, is very scary. From the moment you leave your house in the morning or your hostel room, they start showing challenges. You'll have challenges starting from road rage, rejection, rat rage. Targets. Those are the kind of things that you are going to face. So unless you absorb the realities of life, you will, be, you will find that you, you become ex-outstanding computer professionals, but maybe life may not treat you the way you want. Five years. 
that he said, we are now moving towards India at 100. The people who will take you to that India at 100 are all the people that we have to grow up. We have to lead India into that country. Your computer knowledge is going to you need to come 5G now. Yeah. 2028, 29, you're looking at being world leaders in 6G. All that application and all will be taught. But you learn some of the values that are important. So far, so how do you do that? Where do you go? To some extent, you know, teachers will be. Then, which time will time to do that? Which time will you find your all by yourself? So some of the things that you need to absorb that are the first of them is humility. Learn to be humble. It's the easiest thing in the world to be arrogant. I can be arrogant to the past and next I can be arrogant to the person who crosses me on the road. I can be arrogant to my mother. She is the most vulnerable person. And I can be arrogant to my teachers because this morning I got up in the wrong place. But all that is not going to hold you. What is going to be important is humility. Humility comes very, very small. The fact that you say thank you somebody who holds the rope for you. The fact that you smile and accept the person who assisted you very well is a small little item that is humility. And so make this your I found a model for myself many years back. That this is what I'm going to work for. And I term it as achieving excellence with you. You are humble that you are able to do well, and you, you will find it, it will give you so much of satisfaction. People will look up to you, the world will reach out to you. You don't have to go running up. Thereafter, please understand that the only competition you are going to have face in life, you may read anything you say it's a very competitive world, we are racing against that. The only competition you are going to face is yourself. There you understand that you are your only competitor. You'll find that life is not so safe. So work on that. Excellence with humility. The next thing that I want to stress upon is mindset. My understanding of mindset is how do you look at the world? Are you scared of what's going to happen? Are you worried about what is going to how you're going to do? Mindset is something that can make or break your day. It can make and break your life. Mindset absorb the good things. Adopt a growth mindset. Don't have a mindset of being rigid, optimistic. It's very easy to be optimistic. You know, I, I come from an uh, organization where uh, 40 years one saw human beings. We get the most important thing was not national security, but it was the human factor we had in Because for us, in the outlaw, human beings made life. One mistake in handling of human beings meant life for us. We formed a brotherhood, a brotherhood formed by blood and sacrifice. Or when you are in this world, the biggest asset that you're going to have is cooperation and collaboration with each other. Now, unless you do that, individually, don't, nobody can succeed individually. Push 
फिर कर लोगे कुछ सफर अकेला कर लोगे लेकिन जब तक किसी का साथ नहीं मिलेगा जिंदगी में आप कहीं भी नहीं जा
care less if I push a person on the road when I am rushing, I am getting late. You are getting late, get up a little early in the morning. Start very in time. I have my, I have two sons, right? One is 40 now and the other one is 20. One is an uh, entrepreneur in the startup thing, the other guy is a very startup. And he tells me I can die. I have a case at the high court at 10 o'clock. Right? And I said, Peter, it's already quarter to 10. How will you get to the high court? Pandara will not say, so I know the way he would be driving, the way he would be least regard for society. So, how many times are you going to do that? But then that's the way society is. The attitude towards society also, the government of India, many years back, I would say it's nearly now 8, 10 years back, started something called the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. And uh, I think crores have been spent on this Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. A lot of good work has been done, toilet, facilities, and infrastructure. I wonder that why wait, there is a man who comes every morning to clean my street. But I couldn't be bothered. I will take that petra and throw it there. Maybe the value that I have learned is that I can throw petra anywhere except outside my own house. So I go and throw it outside the neighbor's house and the neighbor will do the same. Right? No. Our attitude to other people. Uh, I'm sure uh, some of you been to a place called the North Block. It's the it's where the offices of the Home Ministry and the Finance Ministry are located. Yeah. Uh, you may not have been there, but you have seen it. Now, the main archway of this uh, this building is inscribed in golden letters. Words of the person who designed the structure, Charles Gallup Cotton, and I quote for the quote Liberty does not descend on people. People must raise themselves. This is a blessing earned before you can enjoy it. Very profound words written nearly a century back. What was conveyed? Be aware, while you need to be aware of your life, joy will rise, right. you must understand it. Which is the most important thing for us to be good. Sarkar will pump in money, they will take you to the moon, they will take you to Mars, they will take you to the 22nd, 23rd century. So, but they can't do it without God. People <coughs> will take that you are the future. You are the future and future. My generation, we have done well, we have not done so well. We have let you down. We messed up the world. We made the, the climate so crazy that you guys are going to suffer the rest of it. Right? But, it is your turn now to undo what has been done and to make amends and make this world a better place for yourself to live. My generation didn't have radios, transistors, television. I remember we had a cycle. Okay. So, so my generation worked again. Okay. We produced scooters, cars, aircraft, all these things. That's to make ourselves comfortable. Now it's your turn. You want to be, we are we living, we want to give you the television. We want to give your television. I mean, all kinds of things. You can use it all. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it. But back to the matter, they are all there for you. Are you going to just exploit it and rely on it? 
I, I just want to find each one of you to think of the wow to yourself. That may Yahami Karanusa, Yahari Guru. Up there, say, Pajas put.